everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Cynthia Ortiz and today we'll be focusing on subtraction number sentences. Before we get into the lesson, let's go ahead and look at some vocabulary. So the first one is subtraction number sentence. A subtraction number sentence is an expression that uses numbers, a minus sign, and an equal sign. Here I have 7 minus 3 equals 4. I have my numbers, my minus sign, and my equal sign. Therefore, that is a subtraction number sentence. The next one says, difference. That is the answer to a subtraction problem. Up here I have 7 minus 3 equals 4. My answer is 4. 4 is called the difference. Minus. This is the sign that we use for subtraction. If you can see, I have a minus sign up here. It almost looks like an equal sign just cut in half, right? Very good. Okay, so if you've seen some of our last videos, you know that we have practiced writing addition number sentences. For addition number sentences, we had part plus part equals whole. Now we are going to do whole minus part equals the other part. All right, so let's take a look. I have five blue balloons. That is my whole. So I'm going to write down five, okay? Three balloons pop. One, two, three. So now I'm going to take those three away. I do not have those three balloons anymore because they popped, right? So let's write three down. And we know that we're taking them away, so we are going to use our minus sign. 5 minus 3 equals how many balloons do I have left? Let's go ahead and count. 1, 2. I have 2 balloons. So 5 minus 3 equals 2. 2 is the difference. It is the answer. Very good. So for this example, I have three delicious apples. Three is what I started with, so it is my whole. Three. I decide to eat one. Okay, so I'm going to take one away. That's minus one. Three minus one equals how many do I have left? Let's count. One, two. So 3 minus 1 equals 2. Awesome. So for this example, I have 10 squirrels playing at the park. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's go ahead and write our whole down. 10. 5 decide it's time to go home. So we will take away 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, okay? So minus five equals what? How many squirrels do I have left? One, two, three, four, five. So 10 minus five equals five. Five is my difference. Great job. So now I have nine pandas climbing up a tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go ahead and write our whole down. Nine. Okay? Seven decide it's time to go to sleep. Let's go ahead and take away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? So we took away seven. Let's write that down. Minus seven equals what? How many pandas do I have left? One, two. Nine minus seven equals two. Two is my difference. Great job. So I think we all know this story pretty well. I have five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and write our whole of five down. One fell off and bumped his head. Boom. How 
how many monkeys do I have left? So if we have five minus one, that equals what? How many monkeys do I have left? One, two, three, four. Five minus one equals four. Four is the difference. Great job, guys. Let's go ahead and try a couple of examples with counting cubes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight counting cubes. That is my whole. Eight. I'm going to take away four. One, two, three, four. So now I have eight minus four equals, how many do I have left? One, two, three, four. That means that eight take away four equals four. Great job. Now I have six counting cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will write my whole down. Six, take away three. One, two, three. Break that apart. Minus three equals what? How many do I have left? One, two, three. That means that six take away three equals three. Very good. Six minus three equals three. Let's go ahead and try one more example. And this example will be a word problem. It says, there are four kids running. Two kids stop to rest. How many kids are still running? So, I want to start by circling what I already know, right? I know that how many kids are running at the beginning? Four. Good. So let's circle four kids. Two kids stop to rest, right? Two kids. Now I want to know how many kids are still running, okay? So let's go ahead and think about this problem. I have four kids running. That is my whole, correct? Let's write that down. So I have four kids running, two stop to rest, one, two. So we are taking away those two. Minus two equals how many kids are still running. So if I have four kids running, two stop, how many do I still have left? One, two. Very good. That means that four minus two equals two. Great job, everybody. All right, so that ends today's lesson on subtraction number sentences. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it very useful. Please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more learning videos. Bye, guys.